The Lost Ways, by Claude Davis. Book Summary Claude Davis is a renowned author and survival expert who has dedicated his life to rediscovering and preserving the lost knowledge and skills of our ancestors. His book, The Lost Ways, serves as a comprehensive guide to self-reliance, offering valuable insights into traditional techniques for survival and sustainable living. In this captivating book, divided into seven parts, Claude Davis takes readers on a journey through time, unraveling the forgotten wisdom of our forefathers. Each part of the book delves into a specific aspect of self-sufficiency, covering topics such as ancient food preservation methods, medicinal remedies, water procurement, shelter construction, essential tools and equipment, and the preservation of traditional knowledge. The Lost Ways serves as a treasure trove of practical information, guiding readers through step-by-step -step instructions, detailed illustrations, and personal anecdotes. It is a testament to the resilience, resourcefulness, and ingenuity of our ancestors, providing invaluable insights that are as relevant today as they were centuries ago. Before we embark on this enlightening journey, we would like to express our gratitude to our listeners. Your support and engagement with our content are truly appreciated. We invite you to support our YouTube channel by subscribing and pressing the like button, as it helps us continue to provide valuable information and insights to our growing community of like-minded individuals. Now, let us delve into the pages of The Lost Ways and unlock the timeless wisdom that can empower us to thrive in an ever-changing world. Thank you for being part of this journey with us. The Most Valuable Skill In Part 1 of The Lost Ways, Claude Davis goes into extensive detail about the critical importance of acquiring practical survival skills and cultivating the right mindset. Davis begins by emphasizing the need for individuals to be self-reliant and prepared for unexpected circumstances. He highlights the significance of being able to rely on oneself rather than depending solely on modern conveniences and infrastructure. Davis delves into the mental and psychological aspects required to confront and overcome adversity. He explains that developing a resilient and determined attitude is essential for survival. Davis emphasizes the importance of maintaining a positive mindset, remaining adaptable, and being willing to learn new skills. He discusses the ability to think critically and make effective decisions in high-pressure situations, stressing the value of remaining calm and focused when faced with challenges. Furthermore, Davis explores the concept of resourcefulness. He encourages readers to tap into their creativity and problem-solving abilities, utilizing the resources available to them in innovative ways. Davis highlights the significance of acquiring practical knowledge and skills that can be applied in various scenarios, enabling individuals to adapt and thrive in different environments. Davis also stresses the importance of physical preparedness. He discusses the significance of maintaining good health, physical fitness, and stamina, as these attributes are crucial for survival in demanding situations. Davis provides practical tips and guidance on physical fitness routines, nutrition, and overall well-being, emphasizing the need to take care of one's body to enhance resilience and endurance. A Step Back in Time Part 2 of The Lost Ways takes readers on a captivating journey into history, providing extensive and detailed insights into the methods and techniques employed by Native Americans and pioneers for survival. Davis begins by exploring the construction of underground houses, which were essential for shelter during challenging and extreme conditions. He describes the materials, tools, and techniques used by our ancestors to build these structures. Davis provides step-by-step -step instructions on selecting a suitable location, excavating the ground, reinforcing the structure, and creating an effective ventilation system. He emphasizes the durability and insulation benefits of underground houses, making them a reliable option for shelter during inclement weather or volatile circumstances. Continuing with the theme of survival, Davis delves into the art of building effective traps and snares. 
He explains the different types of traps used for capturing animals and discusses their construction, placement, and triggering mechanisms. Davis provides detailed instructions on setting up traps and snares in various environments, taking into account factors such as animal behavior and habitat. He also offers advice on camouflage techniques and ways to minimize human scent to increase the chances of success. Davis emphasizes the importance of ethical trapping practices and the responsible use of animal resources. Furthermore, Davis explores the practices of preserving food through various methods. He delves into traditional techniques used by our ancestors, including canning, smoking, and fermenting. Davis explains the step-by-step -step process for each preservation method, from selecting and preparing the food to creating the appropriate preserving environment. He provides insights into the benefits and limitations of each method, enabling readers to make informed decisions based on their specific circumstances. Davis also highlights the importance of understanding and utilizing heirloom seeds, which are seeds passed down through generations and adapted to specific regions or climates. He provides guidance on collecting, storing, and effectively using these seeds for sustainable food production. A New Way of Living Part 3 of The Lost Ways delves into the practices of traditional food preservation and the importance of self-sufficiency. Claude Davis explores various techniques and methods that were employed by our ancestors to store food for long-term use. Davis starts by emphasizing the significance of canning as a method of preserving food. He explains the step-by-step -step process of canning, from selecting fresh produce to properly sterilizing and sealing jars. Davis provides detailed instructions on both water bath canning and pressure canning, ensuring that readers have a thorough understanding of the canning process. He also discusses the importance of storing canned goods in a cool, dark place to maximize their shelf life. In addition to canning, Davis explores the art of smoking as a method of food preservation. He discusses different smoking techniques, such as cold smoking and hot smoking, and the types of wood that yield the best flavors. Davis provides guidance on constructing a smoker and offers tips for properly smoking different types of meat and fish. He emphasizes the importance of maintaining consistent temperatures and monitoring the smoking process to ensure food safety and optimal flavor. Davis also delves into the practice of fermenting food. He explains the science behind fermentation and the benefits it offers in terms of both preservation and health. Davis provides detailed instructions on fermenting vegetables, fruits, and beverages, highlighting the role of beneficial bacteria in the fermentation process. He emphasizes the need for proper sanitation and temperature control to achieve successful fermentation. In addition to food preservation techniques, Davis stresses the importance of self-sufficiency through growing and storing heirloom seeds. He discusses the benefits of heirloom seeds, which are open-pollinated varieties that have been passed down through generations. Davis provides guidance on selecting, storing, and properly germinating heirloom seeds, enabling readers to establish sustainable gardens and maintain a continuous food supply. Forgotten Medicinal Remedies Part 4 of The Lost Ways explores the realm of forgotten medicinal remedies used by our ancestors. Claude Davis delves into the world of natural healing and herbal medicine, providing readers with valuable insights into traditional remedies and their applications. Davis begins by discussing the importance of understanding and harnessing the healing power of nature. He explores the benefits of using natural remedies and highlights the advantages they offer over modern pharmaceuticals. Davis emphasizes the need for individuals to take control of their health and become familiar with alternative healing methods. The author provides detailed instructions on creating poultices, which are herbal preparations applied externally to alleviate various ailments. Davis discusses the selection and preparation of medicinal herbs, as well as different techniques for creating poultices. He covers a wide range of conditions that can be treated with poultices, including wounds, burns, 
inflammation, and joint pain. Davis emphasizes the importance of identifying and foraging for medicinal herbs in the wild, as well as cultivating them in a home garden. Continuing with herbal medicine, Davis explores the creation of tinctures. He explains the process of extracting the medicinal properties of herbs using alcohol or vinegar and provides step-by-step -step instructions on making and storing tinctures. Davis discusses the uses of tinctures for various health issues, such as digestive disorders, respiratory ailments, and immune support. Additionally, Davis delves into the world of homemade remedies, including salves, oils, and infusions. He explains how to create these preparations using natural ingredients such as herbs, oils, and beeswax. Davis provides detailed recipes and guidance on their application for treating common health concerns. Throughout this section, Davis emphasizes the importance of safety and proper dosage when using herbal remedies. He advises readers to consult with healthcare professionals or experienced herbalists for personalized guidance and recommendations. Water, shelter, and more. Part 5 of The Lost Ways delves into essential survival elements, including water procurement, shelter construction, and other crucial skills necessary for self-reliance in challenging situations. Claude Davis starts by highlighting the importance of water and providing guidance on sourcing and purifying water in various environments. He explores different methods of water collection, such as rainwater harvesting, digging wells, and locating natural water sources. Davis discusses techniques for filtering and purifying water to make it safe for consumption, including the use of natural materials and portable filtration systems. He emphasizes the significance of proper water storage and conservation to ensure a steady and reliable supply. Moving on to shelter construction, Davis explores alternative options beyond underground houses. He delves into the art of building log cabins, emphasizing the practicality and durability of this traditional shelter. Davis provides detailed instructions on selecting suitable logs, notching techniques for interlocking logs, and creating a solid foundation. He also discusses the importance of insulation and weatherproofing to ensure comfort and protection within the cabin. Additionally, Davis covers other types of temporary shelters, such as lean-tos and debris huts, which can be quickly constructed in emergency situations using natural materials. Davis further explores essential skills necessary for self-sufficiency and survival. He provides comprehensive guidance on fire-starting techniques, including using primitive methods like friction fire, as well as modern tools like fire starters and flint and steel. Davis also discusses the importance of foraging for edible plants and mushrooms, providing readers with valuable knowledge on identifying safe and nutritious wild foods. In addition, Davis covers the basics of hunting, trapping, and fishing for sustenance. He explores various hunting techniques, such as stalking and camouflage, as well as setting up effective traps and snares to catch small game. Davis offers insights into different fishing methods, including using nets, spears, and improvised fishing tools, depending on the available resources and environment. Lastly, Davis emphasizes the significance of community and cooperation in times of crisis. He discusses the benefits of forming or joining a survival group, sharing resources, skills, and support with like-minded individuals. Davis provides guidance on establishing a community network, fostering relationships, and organizing collaborative efforts for mutual survival and resilience. Back to Basics, Tools and Equipment Part 6 of The Lost Ways focuses on the importance of acquiring and utilizing essential tools and equipment for self-sufficiency and survival. Claude Davis explores a wide range of tools and their applications in various scenarios. Davis begins by discussing the significance of basic hand tools and their versatility. He highlights the importance of having a well-rounded toolkit that includes items such as hammers, saws, axes, knives, and shovels. 
Davis provides insights into selecting high-quality tools, maintaining them properly, and utilizing them for tasks such as construction, woodworking, and food preparation. Moving on, Davis explores the art of blacksmithing and metalworking. He explains the process of forging and shaping metal, including the necessary tools and techniques. Davis discusses the practicality of blacksmithing for creating custom tools and repairing equipment in a post-collapse scenario. He provides guidance on setting up a basic blacksmithing setup and covers essential skills like heat management, shaping, and tempering. Davis also emphasizes the importance of firearm safety and proficiency. He discusses the significance of firearms as a means of self-defense and acquiring food in certain situations. Davis provides guidance on firearm selection, maintenance, and responsible usage. He covers topics such as marksmanship, ammunition storage, and gun cleaning to ensure readers have a well-rounded understanding of firearms. Additionally, Davis delves into the world of alternative energy sources. He explores various methods of generating power off the grid, such as solar panels, wind turbines, and hydroelectric systems. Davis provides insights into the installation, maintenance, and practical applications of these alternative energy sources, enabling readers to reduce their dependence on traditional power grids. Furthermore, Davis discusses the importance of acquiring and preserving knowledge. He emphasizes the significance of building a personal library of survival and homesteading books, as well as preserving important documents and information in physical and digital formats. Davis highlights the value of knowledge as a form of currency and resilience in times of crisis. Preserving the Lost Ways Part 7 of The Lost Ways serves as the final chapter of the book, focusing on the preservation and transmission of traditional knowledge and skills to future generations. Claude Davis emphasizes the importance of safeguarding our heritage and ensuring that the wisdom of our ancestors is not lost. Davis begins by discussing the significance of oral tradition and storytelling as methods of passing down knowledge. He highlights the power of storytelling in preserving cultural heritage and imparting important lessons and skills. Davis encourages readers to engage in storytelling and teach practical skills to younger generations, fostering a sense of connection and continuity. Continuing with the theme of preserving knowledge, Davis explores the value of written records and documentation. He emphasizes the importance of creating written guides, manuals, and instructional materials that capture the step-by-step -step processes and insights shared throughout the book. Davis encourages readers to document their own experiences and lessons learned, creating a valuable resource for future reference. Furthermore, Davis discusses the importance of mentorship and apprenticeship in preserving traditional skills. He emphasizes the value of learning from experienced practitioners and passing down knowledge through hands-on training and guidance. Davis encourages readers to seek out mentors and actively engage in apprenticeships to ensure the continuation of traditional skills. Davis also highlights the significance of community building and networking. He emphasizes the power of forming local networks and communities that prioritize self-sufficiency and the preservation of traditional knowledge. Davis encourages readers to connect with like-minded individuals, share resources, and engage in collective efforts to sustain the lost ways. Lastly, Davis emphasizes the importance of resilience and adaptability in an ever-changing world. He encourages readers to remain open-minded, continue learning, and adapt traditional skills to modern contexts. Davis emphasizes the need to strike a balance between preserving the old ways and embracing new innovations. As we reach the conclusion of The Lost Ways by Claude Davis, we find ourselves enriched with a wealth of knowledge and practical wisdom passed down from our ancestors. Throughout the pages of this book, Davis has taken us on a journey into the forgotten realms of self-reliance and traditional skills, reminding us of the timeless wisdom that has sustained humanity for generations. The Lost Ways serves as a powerful reminder that the skills and knowledge of our ancestors are not lost to the passage of time.
Davis's meticulous research and dedication to preserving this valuable heritage have provided us with a blueprint for self-sufficiency and resilience in an increasingly uncertain world. From learning the art of ancient food preservation to discovering forgotten medicinal remedies, from mastering the techniques of water procurement and shelter construction to equipping ourselves with essential tools and skills, this book has empowered us to reconnect with the wisdom of the past and apply it to our lives today. But, The Lost Ways, is more than just a practical guide, it is a testament to the indomitable spirit of human resilience. It reminds us that in times of crisis and uncertainty, there is great strength to be found in our ability to adapt, innovate, and rely on the resources nature provides. We extend our heartfelt gratitude to our listeners, who have embarked on this journey with us. Your curiosity, engagement, and support have made this experience all the more rewarding. We hope that the knowledge and insights gained from The Lost Ways have sparked a renewed sense of empowerment and a deeper connection to the natural world. As we conclude this incredible journey, we invite you to continue exploring The Lost Ways, to share this knowledge with others, and to become ambassadors of self-reliance and sustainability. Together, we can forge a future that combines the wisdom of the past with the advancements of the present, creating a more resilient and harmonious world. Once again, we express our gratitude for joining us on this transformative adventure. Thank you for your support, and we look forward to continuing our shared exploration of valuable knowledge and insights. Thank you, and may the Lost Ways guide and inspire you on your journey of self-discovery and empowerment.